All right, here's today's question. How long until you could watch other people drink? I think this should be rephrased as how long until you're comfortable with other people drinking? I think this is something that is just going to be different for everyone. Um, what does comfortable mean? You don't notice or you don't feel anything even though you do notice. Um, you feel like you want to drink. All that kind of stuff you know, could tie into your comforts. Uh, habit is a strong thing. That's good when you have good habits, productive habits, uh, when habits are leading you in the direction that you want to go. Habits that are helping you to become the best version of yourself, for instance. right? They're not so good when the habits are feeding into bad thinking and bad behaviours. And I think there's a tendency to believe that because there's an external component to a bad habit, such as the, is the case with taking any drug like alcohol, um, it's harder to break down those habits and it's harder to get rid of those. And I don't think so. I think it's easier to break down this kind of habit because you've got a very narrow focus, right? You only have to concentrate on avoiding the one thing, in this case, avoiding the alcohol. You only have to focus on not putting the alcohol into your mouth and nothing else, right? If you're trying to stop smoking, another example, you only have to focus on not putting the cigarette into your mouth and lighting it up, right? Nothing else. So there's no straying away from what you have to focus on, right? That's why I think it's so simple to stop drinking alcohol. Make the comparison if your bad habit is eating too much, right? Your focus is on the food, right? Um, or not eating as much food. And it's a simple in that sense, but there's a complication in that you... You always have to eat food, just not as much, right? Um, the only way to break this type of habit is by not doing the thing that we want to get away from, right? To get a little bit more complicated here, think about this in terms of what about if your habit was negative thinking? Now, there's a doozy of a problem right there, right? Getting rid of, uh, getting rid of negative thinking, it requires you to do so much thinking and deciphering and go through uncertainty and running up blind alleyways and experimentation and using lots of time and energy and you've got lots of self-doubt all that kind of stuff so yeah I'm, I'm getting off tangent here a little bit um let's get back to the problem of being comfortable with other people this again is habits this is what i'm talking about it's part of the habit of stopping drinking or it's part of the habit that comes before that, if you haven't downloaded our course yet, if you haven't had a look at that, we've got the Beginner's Guide to Getting and Staying Sober. The link is in the description below. It's absolutely free. It's designed to help you to change your mindset, so stop drinking alcohol, to stay sober, and to move towards the best possible version of yourself. So like I said, the link is in the description down below. Now, what do you mean by being comfortable when you're asking this question? You know, one person's idea of discomfort is not going to be another person's idea of discomfort, right? Take your grandparents' idea of discomfort, for instance. What would they put up with that you wouldn't? You know, need, need I say more? You know, isn't it better to work on your thoughts about being uncomfortable? Any change you're going to make requires you to be uncomfortable. The more, the bigger the change, the more discomfort you're going to have to go through. And I think this is one of the biggest problems, not just in breaking down a habit like drinking alcohol, but in the construction of that habit in the first place. You may not have started out by drinking alcohol to hide from discomfort, but that's where most people land up after a few years of drinking. How could you possibly land up in a different place? You know, people, people really don't like discomfort, but it's a natural part of life. The mere fact that uh, a person is trying to avoid discomfort is is just totally self-defeating the more discomfort that you try to avoid the more discomfort you're going to get in life everything you do is filtered through your mind your attitudes your mental frameworks how you process um, what's happening in the outside world but above all what's happening internally how you're processing that and when you narrow your focus to avoid discomfort you start to create an internal environment where more and more things appear to be uncomfortable or appear to you to feel uncomfortable. Now, life is a series of uncomfortable moments when you look at it like that. If you can learn to like discomfort, you'll go a long way in life. You know, you, you'll achieve more in life if you want to live the best life that you can live, to live the best version of yourself. You're going to have to put up with 
so much discomfort on the journey and at the end of the day it's only the journey that matters right getting used to being uh, being in an, an uncomfortable state is a skill that you can learn so why not start here it's like a muscle that you can build and build and build right so why do you want to be around other people um, when they're drinking is another question that you could ask you know maybe you work in hospitality maybe you work in a bar or restaurant in that case the more you do your job under these circumstances the sooner you'll become used to it you know it'll become second nature to you to to be around people who are not drinking or who are drinking alcohol while well, you're not right if you want to be comfortable so you can go back to sitting in the bar with your buddies you might want to rethink that plan you know how long is that going to last uh, I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people fail you know at the end of the day it doesn't matter what other people are doing there's always going to be alcohol in this world um, if alcohol disappeared off the face of the earth tomorrow it would be replaced by some other way of hiding from reality hiding from life and the only thing that matters to you is what you think and how your thoughts uh, influence and direct your actions and that's it you know if you focus your mind on what other people are doing you're always going to be at the, the mercy of other people's actions Right? So focus on what you're doing. That's the most important thing. Focus on your thinking and what you're doing. Alcohol plays no part in my life anymore. If other people want to drink, that's their problem. It's their body. It's their life. I would love for these people, the people that I love, to not drink. But I can't force them not to drink. But I don't have to watch them poisoning themselves. So, you know, it is what it is. Um... I think it's about getting comfortable with alcohol still being there, you getting comfortable with that, getting comfortable with other people still drinking alcohol. And all the while, you're breaking your own habit, you're breaking down your own drinker's brain, you're resolving the internal conflicts that you have about alcohol. And that takes time, just takes time. You know, in the long term, it, it's more about you getting comfortable with other people still pouring this toxin into their bodies and being comfortable doesn't mean that you have to like what they're doing. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to be like what the other person is, is thinking or doing. But the only person who can change you is yourself. You can try and influence other people through your own actions. But the only person who can truly change, the only person um, who has enough control to make the changes necessary happen is you yourself or they themselves. So getting comfortable with other people's drinking is really down to... Um, a mindset change and it's a mindset change that really needs you uh, needs other parts of your, of your thinking to become aligned with that it takes time you know uh, I, I can't put a time on it because I wouldn't be able to pinpoint the time when I was comfortable with other people drinking myself like all definitions I can define being comfortable as something different now than I would next week depending on how I feel and I think uh, next week so it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's part of this wonderful journey that we're on. Um, it's part of this one wonderful journey that the more time you put between yourself and the alcohol, the more comfortable you're going to be in your own skin. And the more comfortable you're going to be being uncomfortable. And I think that's one of the most important things. Okay, so the real question is, is how do you get on this journey and stay on it so watch this video next five ways to lasting sobriety take care of yourself and i'll speak to you soon onwards and upwards